I'm going to give you three more verbs. Pedir, entender, and dormir. One is an E to I, one is an E to I E, and one is an O to U E. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and I want you to conjugate each one of these three verbs. Go ahead and take a second and conjugate those three verbs on a separate sheet of paper right now. And in about 30 seconds, I'll put up the correct conjugations for you. And you can check those against what you wrote down on their paper. Okay, for starters, let me tell you what the words mean. Pedir means to order something, like to order food at a restaurant, or to ask for something, like ask for directions on the street. So pedir is a great verb to know if you need to order food at a restaurant or ask directions. Entender means to understand. And dormir is to sleep, like dormitory, to sleep. So let's see what they look like conjugated. The endings are ERs and IRs, so those we should have no problem. These are the endings. Let's look at the stems. That's what they should look like if they were regular, but we know they're not, so let's look at pedir. Pido, pides, pide. Pedimos, pedis, piden. To understand. Entiendo, entiendes, entiende. Entendemos, entendéis, entienden. Dormir, to sleep. Duermo, duermes, duerme. Dormimos, dormís, duermen. And that's what these three categories of stem changing verbs will look like. I'll give you some examples in a sentence. Pablo pide pollo. Paul orders chicken. Pide, it's not pede, it's pide. Pablo pide pollo. Servir is su sirve sopa. Su serves soup. Dormir is don duerme. Don is sleeping. Morir is Mauricio muere. Maurice dies. That's a word we get mortuary and mortician. Morir. These are our three categories of verbs so far. E to I. E to I E. O to U E. We have one more category of verbs, which is really convenient. U to U E. Because this is the only verb that changes in that way. So in this entire category, there's just this one word, jugar, which means to play a sport, or to play a card game, or a table game, or soccer, or football. You can see the ending is a typical AR ending, o, as, a, amos, ais, and an. This is what the verb should look like, but we know it's not. Juego, I play. Juegas, juega. Jugamos, jugáis, and juegan because we know that they do not change in the nosotros y vosotros. So the verb is I play. If you were to say I play football, I play soccer, it would be juego fútbol, juego baloncesto, juego basket, whatever game that it is you're playing, this is your verb. And it's the only one in this category. So to recap, we have the raíz and the terminación. Abel, common, vive. Normally, that will not change. The radical is another way to call it raíz. AR, ER, and IR, those are the endings. Normally, it's just the terminación that's going to change. But in this case, we have four stem changing categories, E to I, E to IE, O to UE, and U to UE. You can see how they stem change and how they do not stem change in the nosotros y vosotros form. That's the lesson, and you will find more verbs throughout the semester that fit the first three categories, E to I, E to IE, and O to UE, and jugar is the only one that fits in the last category. That's your lesson. Stem-changing verbs.